Hey everyone, welcome to my first Halloween tutorial. Yes, I'm wearing a top. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is use a black eyeliner to outline where I want the separation line between the glam side and the skeleton side. And I did wanna do down my chest, so I am putting the line down there now. And then I am going to roughly sketch out where the nose, the eyes, and the cheeks go. And here I am taking a glue stick and I am gluing down my eyebrows. I do suggest maybe doing this before you start with the black liner. And I'm using a spoolie to make it flat. And you just wanna do as many layers until you feel that it is smooth. You don't want any bumps. Here I am again with the black eyeliner, just outlining the cheeks. You do want them to be relatively even. And I do actually suggest priming before you do the black as well, I just forgot. Then I am taking the Wet n Wild paint pot, and this is the white one, and I'm gonna be filling in all of the areas that I'm not going to be making black. And I am going to be setting this with a white translucent powder. And then I'm taking the Ink Gel Liner from Pretty Vulgar, and I am going to be filling in the areas that I want to be black. So the tip of the nose, the eye, and the cheeks. And then you wanna set everything with a black eyeshadow. All of the black that you see me outline with is that gel eyeliner, and then anything that you see me going over that with, like here, is the black eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna go around the edge and just define that separating line a little bit more just to make sure that I know where I'm going and where my edge is. We will be defining it a little bit more later with some eyeshadow and shading. And then you wanna make sure again to set everything with a powder. I didn't really like the way the mouth turned out so we took that off. I'm taking my foundation. You can use whatever foundation you feel comfortable with and I'm putting it on the glam side, blending it out with a beauty blender. And then I'm also putting on my concealer. This video is a little bit all over the place. Kind of go back and forth between some things, just trying to give myself a break where I feel blocked and that kind of thing. So right here I'm gonna outline the teeth. I did wanna show the majority of these clips. I think this is the most detailed and most important part of the video. It does kind of make or break the skull. So you wanna take your time with this, make sure that the outline looks pretty good. We are gonna be putting white over this outline so it doesn't have to be perfect. And then later we're gonna go over it with the gel liner. So just make sure to roughly sketch this out as good as you can. And then we are going to use white white to kind of round out and make the teeth look more realistic. Here I am taking that white body paint again and also the NYX white eyeliner and I am out filling in the teeth. Um, I actually didn't really care for the brush on the liner for this step. I actually ended up putting it on the back of my hand and using this little brush. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. See there, you can see me putting the liner on my hand and then using it on the teeth. I thought that kind of worked better. I liked the shape of this brush. It kind of helped me round out the teeth at the bottom. And then, as I said, we're gonna go over it with the liner and just make sure that you have like some gaps in between the teeth, some black bits in between the teeth. And you also wanna fill in your lips with the liner as well. Make sure they're nice and black. Now we're gonna start shading. I am using the Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic palette and I'm using the dark blue shade in that palette and I am blending that wherever I put the black. 
So along the eye, the cheek, the mouth, the nose, and the outer edge. Then I am using a light blue shade from the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette to kind of shade in the rest of the white areas. And then I'm taking a pencil brush and the black shadow and I'm outlining, kind of shading the um, border so that it looks more like, um, like my skin is on top and the skeleton is underneath. and going back and forth with the blue shades to shade everything as well. Then I'm taking the NYX Glitter Primer and I am going to be putting that along the edges of the black. And then I am taking this NYX glitter and I am putting it in all of the areas where I put the glitter primer. It's around the perimeter of my face as well as all of the black areas. I wasn't going to fill in the black, but I ended up wanting to be super glittery, so I ended up filling it in. Then I am going to take that white body paint and paint the rest of my chest. And I did like to use a beauty sponge to kind of even this out a little bit. I would dip it in the paint and kind of sponge it out because it's such a larger area. I think it helped a little bit to make it even. And then you want to set that with a powder. I'm also doing my ear so that that side kind of looks like it's hollow and doesn't have anything over there. And then just make sure to set it with powder. I'm going over the teeth again just to make sure everything's nice and dark and defined. And then I did the body. So I shaded in the blue and I grabbed a picture from Google of a skeleton and I just kind of helped shape that out on my body. And I did that with the same black liner. And then I'm taking the white face paint and I am filling everything in. Don't worry about covering any of your black eyeliner. Uh, we are going in with the gel liner later to define everything. So just make sure you fill in the white and then we're gonna go back over the black anyways. So here I'm just using a little eyeliner brush and the same, the ink liner. I think this stuff is really nice. It's very black and very creamy and very easy to work with. And then after you have all of that filled in, I did put some glitter around the black again and you just want to make sure that the shading on the body is right and the bones as well. Make sure that they're nice and white. You may have to wipe your brush off a few times in order to make sure that it doesn't have like a super blue tinge to it. And you are done, y'all. You have a gorgeous inner beauty skeleton. She's sparkly. She's colorful she's beautiful well, i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up and i do upload new videos every tuesday thursday and saturday so i will see you next time i hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are toddy bye Thank <laughs> you.